Hello, everybody. How are we doing? I'm happy to be here. I'm a little tired. I feel like I've been kind of go, go, going since I got home earlier today. Um, but I'm doing good. I'm happy to be back. Had to skip Monday. We had, um, I had a callback on Monday, which was really great. We did a dance call, which was super fun. Um, and now we're back at it. Usually we go Yu-Gi-Oh! on Mondays, but um, I'll probably do two Emerald streams later in the week. So we're doing Yu-Gi-Oh! tonight. Um, and we still have a lot of uh, new people we can try to duel here. So let's see what we get. Ah, Truesdale. So this is Yugi's grandpa um, in the anime. And in the anime, he had a rare prized Blue Eyes White Dragon card. Um, sorry, I'm going to tilt my screen a little bit. Um, ah, Swords of Revealing Light. He had this rare Blue Eyes White Dragon card. Um, and Seto Kaiba takes it and rips it up. Um, which is really, really, really mean. Um, and really, Kaiba just wants to have the only copies, because he has three copies, because he is just a rich little playboy. Um, you know, in it's interesting. I could destroy the Swords of Revealing Light, but I'm actually going to destroy the Face Down card. Let's see what it was. Yeah, it was Trap Hole. That's good. Because I know what Swords of Revealing Light is, you know? It's not going to be anything crazy. Um, I am going to set my Beaver Warrior in defense mode. And we'll see what's going on. Okay, so Rogue Doll's not, not too bad. Rogue Doll will be able to destroy my Beaver Warrior, but that's okay. Um, I can send out my Seven Colored Fish. Um, but let's see, how's, how's everybody doing today? Um, I'm doing pretty solidly. Um, yeah, I'll just play this for now. I had work today. It wasn't too terrible. Um, I think, oh my gosh, come on with the magic cards. Yugi's grandpa usually isn't this good. Because as you can see, his monsters aren't that, aren't that strong. But he is having an extraordinarily good draw right now that I really hope I can duplicate. Okay, that is great to see. Um, I'm actually gonna use Graceful Charity as well. Okay, I will discard my Yami, that's okay. Um, hmm. Summon Skull could come in real handy. And D-Spell, you know, I'm actually gonna get rid of D-Spell because that would be great to use against the Swords of Revealing Light, but it's three turns are up already, so nothing too bad. Oh, yeah. Okay, I was about to say, please attack me with Sinister Serpent. Um, yeah, as you can see, cards aren't that great. Let's see what we got. Um, I am going to set my trap hole, and I am just going to get Summon Skull out. Summon Skull, you could argue, is one of the best cards in the game, at least in this game just because for only one tribute, you get 2,500 attack, which is ridiculous. Um, and that helps us destroy his rogue doll. Which at this point in the game, 1,600 isn't too bad. I'd love a Raigeki right now. I don't think we even have one um, in our deck currently. Let's set Gazelle. And now we'll just start clearing out some of these defense mode monsters. Um, but yeah, day at school was good. I only have seven days left until I begin my summer vacation. Which, again, uh, working in a school, it you get all the perks of being in a school. Oh boy. Okay, Sky Dragon. That's nothing. Come on, Trap Hole, goodbye. That wasn't going to do anything against Summon Skull anyway. Alright. I am happy that we were able to get a pretty decent draw. Um, because when he had those three monsters stacked against us, I thought we might have been in trouble. And this Summon Skull, 
the defense on that monster, it was way overkill, but I always like to just attack with my stronger monster on face down cards. Um, yeah, Sinister Serpent's really interesting because when it gets destroyed, that's not even going to destroy my Penguin Soldier. You can, I think, get one from your deck. Um, I never use one, but the NPCs use, the NPCs use them a lot. All right. Wait, what is this? One of these negates trap cards. Okay, great. I'm gonna do that just in case this is a scary, mean trap card. Because it could very well be Mirror Force. And what Mirror Force does, okay, great, is it destroys all of your monsters that are in attack mode. Um, so it would destroy all three of my monsters here, which is particularly brutal. You'll probably see me try to hedge against Mirror Force at some point. So yeah, he's not super good. I'm very happy we were able to defeat him. Ah, we have the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon Pack. Let's do that one. This this pack usually has like comically strong cards. Um, like we have the Meteor Dragon, a six star monster. This actually isn't bad, the Fire Wing Pegasus. Um, to 2250 for just one tribute. Um, uh, Sengenjin. Sengenjin. Um, it's just a regular old big brute guy. Um, and here's the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. It is just a fusion monster that has three Blue Eyes White Dragons. It is ridiculously strong, as you can see, but actually fusing them all together is like a really high cost. Um, so when we find Kaiba, he actually has a pretty interesting workaround to get this monster out on the field. Uh, and then Magician of Black Chaos. We have this in our deck. It's a cool ritual summon monster. Those pack, that pack is always fun to open. Um, there are a lot of duplicates you can get in there. Let's see what we got. Ah, Weevil Underwood. Oh, uh, I like him. He actually has a really cool character design. He loves to use bug cards, insect monsters. Um... And he's a very tricky, sneaky sneak. He is a very bad, deceitful guy um, in the anime. Don't like him at all. All right, so what we're gonna do, we could throw out our seven colored fish, but what I wanna do is summon our giant rat. Um, because when he has face down monsters, a lot of the time, they're gonna be tricky. Okay, needle worm. So what this does, is it discards a bunch of cards from our from our deck. Oh, we lost change of heart. That's not fun. Oh, I do want to bring in the Firewing Pegasus um, at some point. So yeah, Needleworm, very tricky card. Um, a really powerful card that we're going to see is... Oh, boy. Oh, sure. I can do my Magic Jammer, but what will I discard? Um, oh man, nah, it's fine. I won't use it yet. Ah, another face down monster. Um, so as I was saying, okay, giant true name, that's what that was. Um, one monster that we are going to see a lot in our playthrough here is the man eater bug. It's a really good card. Hopefully not here. Another needlework. He's just gonna be bleeding our deck dry. Okay, I saw our Magician of Black Chaos go. Um, all right, <laughs> let's see if I have any cards left. Um, one card he loves to play as well is the Insect Queen. That's like his strongest card. Um, what else did we lose? Uh, Trap Hole's not good. Silver Fang, oh, that's not bad. That's not the worst thing. Change of Heart is really the one that hurts my heart um oh but what man eater bug does when it flips kind of like our penguin soldier it can destroy one monster card on our side of the field and it's destroying our seven colored fish you could argue that i shouldn't have attacked there and you might be right i sometimes i just like to get the ball rolling um no i don't interesting he is opting to be extremely defense defensive Defensive, my goodness, Laura, I couldn't even speak. All right, 
So I'm going to stop there, because we got some good trap cards to maybe help keep us safe for a while. Hmm. Um, no, I don't want to spell Binding Circle quite yet. I'll just negate attack. There we go. Perfect. That uh, does exactly what it says. It negates the attack. Perfect. So now we can use our Fisher. Boom, baby. And we can summon Gazelle. Perfect. All right, we finally have a clean field. Um, yeah, Weevil is, uh, he is deceitful and tricky. I remember his uh, episode in the anime. In the first arc of the anime, the rules of the game just don't apply at all. <laughs> They don't have to tribute anything. Um, they're just like weird, like made up field rules. Um, it's very funny, actually. Um, okay, Steel Scorpion. What this does, what does this do? I don't remember what it does. Let me actually look up what Steel Scorpion does. Um, a non machine monster attacking Steel Scorpion will be destroyed at the end phase of your opponent's third turn. So basically, our gazelle is on a timer now that it's going to die. So that's sad. But again, this boy tricky. Ah, uh, yes, it says right there, two turns before gazelle is destroyed. Mm -hmm. um, I actually will use Spellbinding Circle here. Um, Spellbinding Circle makes it that the opposing monster cannot attack. It also cannot change positions, which is interesting. Um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get Summon Skull out. And I'm going to destroy the Gazelle because he's set to be destroyed by um, the Steel Scorpion anyway. And let's get rid of this Skull Red Bird. Wonderful. Again, I... Ooh, 5 5 5 I really hate when they have the 50 in the life points. I don't know why. It just doesn't look aesthetically pleasing to me. Um, what trap cards do we have? Okay, we have Magic Jammer and Ceasefire. This one, flip all face down. Ah, okay, this will actually work pretty well because he probably will have a, an effect monster. There you go. Love it. And that probably got rid of a flip effect too. That was gorgeous. Um, ah, Parasite, Parasite. Oh, and that negates the flip effect. Mmm, baby, yum. Yes, that was lovely. Um, okay. So my giant soldier can destroy this tiny little boy. Um, this is actually a pretty good draw against Weevil. Um... Weevil can be strong sometimes. Beep, 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 doop, doop. But yes, we still have a lot of duelists to uncover here. Um, okay, as long as we don't get screwed by whatever this card is, our giant soldier should be able to take him out. Oh, great. Not even an effect monster. Mmm, baby. Yum, yes. Love it. Alright, so I am really happy to be ripping some booster packs and hopefully. Ah, this is a cool one. Rai May. Ah, decrease your opponent's life points by 300 points. Yeah, there's a lot of these magic cards that are straight up just like direct damage to your opponent. Oh, hey! How's it going, Paul Meskel's wife? Good to see you. Um, thanks for being here. Um, let's see. Ah, Lord of the Lamp? That's just a fun guy. But this is really nice. The Total Defense Shogun. I actually really like this card. When this card is summoned, it is placed on the field in defense position. This card can attack without being shifted to attack position. So, it has that really high defense. It's a one-tribute monster. Um, <laughs> you made your username as a joke and now you regret it. I understand. <laughs> it's funny though. Um, but, uh, 
Yeah, so this guy can be in defense mode but still attack, which is really cool. It can be a defensive wall and an offensive force. And 1550 isn't like great attack, um, but with that cool effect, it's usually pretty worth it. Um, so let's actually see what we have in our main deck here. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of Monstrous Bird. I'll just send that to the side deck for now. Um, because I want to bring in that Total Defense Shogun. I might even bring in the uh, Firewing Pegasus, maybe? Let's see. Um, no, let's go by defense, because that'll be right at the top. Main deck. Um, awesome. We might bring in Firewing Pegasus if we need to. And again, there's Weevil. Yeah, I am trying to remember who we have not dueled yet. I think we really only haven't dueled a lot of, like, the stronger people. Um, so pray for me. Ah, yes. This is Joey. This is uh, Yugi's old buddy, old pal. He is one of the iconic characters from the anime. Um... He, his specialty, he's got the Time Wizard, he's got the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Um, in this arc, he gets the Jinzo, um, which is my favorite card of all time. So I'll be really excited when we get that one. Let's see. Ba -da -da -da. Okay, I like having Backup Soldier around. And he has a couple cool cards that we'll get into. Okay, let's set you for now. Oh, my favorite Pokemon? Oh, okay. Um, my favorite Pokemon is Lugia, for sure. Um, 100%. Oh, this is great. Awesome. Um, but yes, Lugia is... Hold on. There's my boy Lug. <laughs> um... But uh, what we saw there... Oh, no, it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Um, but what we just saw there is Joey has a lot of these really, really strong four-star monsters. But Panther Warrior needs a tribute to attack. Um, so that actually worked out really nicely for us. Um, but right now we're... Let's see. Attack by his card has its attack decreased by 500 points. Okay, we're actually going to save Rocket Warrior for now, but I think I will throw Silver Fang in defense mode. Um, um, Zombira the Dark, which it has 2100 attack, which I'm really glad that he's tributing it right now um, because that can obviously destroy our Giant Soldier of Stone. Um... But the way that card works is that when it attacks, it, um, whatchamacallit, it has its attack decreased by 200 points permanently at the end of the turn. So I do want to do this. We want our other giant soldier so we can continue to wall our friend Panther Warrior over here. Um, so that's kind of like... All of these really strong four-star monsters that Joey has, there are drawbacks to them. What do we have here? Uh, five more cards in your graveyard. Okay. All right, we'll stop there for now. Okay, he's got a summon skull of his own. Very good. And that's okay. That's not the worst thing we've ever seen. Um... But one other thing... Oh yeah, another card that we'll see a lot from him and some other ones, and some other duelists, is the card Goblin Attack Force, um, which is really interesting. It is a 2300 attack monster, um, but it has zero defense. And if... Oh, that's gonna hurt. Gearfreed is pretty good as well with that 1800. Um, if you attack with Goblin Attack Force, it automatically gets swapped into defense mode. Um, alright, so gang, we got real lucky. That was a great draw. Amazing. So now, I'm glad we saved our friend Rocket Warrior over here. So now, we can attack him directly this time. 
Uh, I just think Rocket Warrior is just a, a cute little guy. Um, but uh, Rocket Warrior is, Warrior is actually a card that Joey uses in this uh, arc of the anime, but I don't think he has one in this game. Axe Raider, another very good card. So that's sad. Oh, can I activate Backup Soldier? Yes, I can. I sure do. Um, we need you. And we need you. And I think I can add more. Yeah, I might as well add Silver Fang while I'm at it. Yeah, Silver Fang is a card that will phase out eventually. Um, it's a pretty weak monster card for this point of the game. We'll set Imperial Order. Alright, please don't have another Summon Skull. Just don't have one. Don't have it. Ba -da -da. <laughs> um, yeah, not much I can do here. And uh, I was kind of anticipating finding Joey or Kaiba or Yugi um, because those are three of the better um, duelists that we can find. Also, I just realized that... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hold on, give me a second. I have not been keeping track of our record tonight. Hold on. So we won two, we beat Weevil, and we beat Truesdale. So we are eight and two currently, which is glorious. Okay. Okay. Beaver Warrior is not going to be uh, doing anything amazing for us right now. I'm just going to set Silver Fang in defense. Um, <laughs> record eight and two, marking it now. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, I I should come out of I should come out with a winning record, I would think. Um, oh, excuse me. Okay, maybe I should have played my giant soldier. It would have gotten destroyed, but I could have walled the axe raider a little bit. All right, folks, we kind of had a miracle draw with that mirror with that uh, dark hole. Can we get another one? A uh, change of heart. Oh boy, but I don't have anything. I really wish I could uh, tribute that summon skull. That blows, man. Um. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do one more play before I do that. Mm, 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 mm. No. Okay. Oh, he attacked. He knew. Some some of these, I'm just like, the AI knows that I played the Soldier of Stone. That's some bull. Bull crap. Um, but that's okay. <sighs> yeah, guys. I don't know if there's much I can do here. I really wish I had a Summon Skull of my own. That would really turn the tide right now. So I'm just gonna do what I can do. Destroy his clown zombie. Leave with a little bit of my pride. Cause sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles, baby. Uh, and especially in the early going here, you're not really like equipped to beat like Joey or Kaiba or Yugi very much. Thank you, Paul Meskel's wife. I appreciate that. All right, I'm marking it down too. I am now eight and three. I know, it is devastating. But there you do see Joey's red eyes black dragon, which is sick. Uh, let's see. All right, let's see who this is. It's probably Yugi or Kaiba. I'm almost positive it's Yugi or Kaiba. Um, yes, there he is. Yes. Perfect, that is great music. 
Um, so you're today's opponent. My name is Yugi Moto. Let's enjoy ourselves. I don't know about you, but I'm always nervous when I face a duelist for the first time. So Yugi is a really interesting character because he is just like a meek and mild little boy, but he's possessed by the spirit of like an ancient pharaoh. Don't ask why. Um, and uh, that version of Yugi is like the ancient pharaoh version. And he like turns into the pharaoh when he duels. That's like a whole big thing. And they really don't explain it in the pilot. <laughs> At least in the dub that I grew up watching. Hmm. So yeah, Yugi is another very tough opponent. Um, he has a defense position monster. This is the magic card one. Um, uh, I'm just gonna set. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I th I don't know. I don't remember if negate attack negates attacks. For <sighs> that is brutal. That's brutal, gang. I was really banking on that negate attack. And now it is destroyed. Gemini Elf is probably one of the best four stars in the game. Um, because it is 1900 attack with no drawback. It's just really good. <laughs> um, I mean, he has a bunch of these Magnet Warrior cards that are also good. Ooh, but I do have Multiply. Um, offer one face-up Kar Karibo as a tribute. Um, so now I can set some Karibo tokens. Absolutely, I want to do a quick play. Multiply. Ah, I'm really glad I could use this. These are not strong, but they offer... They're a very nice little wall of defense um, right now, which I desperately need, seeing as he's about to throw out a third monster. Oh. Oh, look at this Karibo token. Just a little little gold Karibo guy. Very cute. Um, I also don't think these tokens can attack. I'm almost I'm almost positive they can't. Um, yes, and I can't tribute. I can't use them as a tribute. Okay, this could come in handy at some point. But again, I'm just uh, praying my wall of Karibos hold up. Nope, none of that's gonna help me. So now they're all gonna be gone, which makes me sad. Okay. So now things aren't looking good, gang. <laughs> oh, I will set my giant rat in defense mode. Oh, boy. So, yeah, something that we're probably going to want to do. It is interesting. Gee, dang it. I know. Um, it is interesting. Um, early on in the game, you really don't want to fight Yugi and the like too much. Um, I'm just going to get Silver Fang out here. Because even my giant soldier of stone would be summoned in attack mode and any of these monsters could destroy it. Um, and that's actually very valuable because if I had one, I could wall off these multiple Gemini elves. That is ridiculous. Um, I guess it is a good time to say, um, you can have three of one card in your deck. Um, ugh, you know what, you know what? I am going to go out taking one of his monsters, even if I have to destroy myself in the process. Yeah, because I, I I got nothing. Yugi's getting us this round. We're going to have to get us some more powerful cards um, and fight some weaker opponents before we challenge Yugi again. Wow, he got a really good draw, though, too. He's got both Gemini Elves out. Um... And really, we just need some better magic cards. I think before next stream, because I know there's a resource somewhere online that like says what cards are in each pack. And there's his Dark Magician behind him. Ugh, eight and four. 
Eight and four. Okay. Let's see here. You know what? Okay, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna try to get a duelist, a uh, duelist weekly right now. Let's see, there's Yugi and Joey. Oh yes, we fought Rex Raptor. Oh, everyone on the screen here we've battled. I can't believe Ishizu was our first fight. And I'm also, it's also crazy that we were able to beat her. Cause she's usually pretty solid. I'm just gonna keep talking to passengers here until we get our Duelist Weekly. I'm really hoping we get the Dunamis Dark Witch. That is the best card you can get out of here. It's an 1800 attack, which we desperately need. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, baby! There she is! There she is! Wonderful card, awesome. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, yeah! Um, all right, so let's add her to our deck. We will filter normal cards, just by attack, that's fine. Ah, uh, there she is. Very happy to see you, friend. Ooh, I actually, you know what? I'm gonna add Fairy of the Fountain as well. 1600 attack is nothing to scoff at right now in our current state. Um, I don't really want to... I want to make sure I don't really go above, like, 45 cards in the, the old deck. Um, a lot of times you want to, like, swap some stuff out. Um, and some of these... I might get rid of one of these trap cards. Because a lot of times I find myself in a situation where they're just not useful. Um, uh, classic. One trap. One 2,000 defense. That is a classic first turn set for your boy. Love to see it. Um, love it. Neo the Magic Swordsman, actually a pretty good card. We'll be walled by our Mystical Elf. Alright. We do have the Seven Tools of the Bandit. I don't think I've been able to show that off, really. Um, but... There we go. Some of this out. Um, but what that does is I can negate the effect of a trap card at the cost of a thousand life points. Which, a thousand life points seems like a lot, but negating a trap card can be just game saving. Um, cause like, imagine someone had that mirror force and it just wipe, it would wipe out my entire side. Beedle -doo -de -doo. Ah, Dark Magician Girl. I have all high-level monsters in my hand right now. Alright. We'll start with her on the defense monster. You know, I know why they include the Dark Magician Girl strategy. It's not my favorite one to use. Um, oh, I'm so excited to show off some of the stronger cards that we can get. Uh... Um, I'll set that. Um, we're just gonna we're gonna hold steady right here, folks. Um, and a lot of this stuff, like a lot of these fights with Truesdale, and like oh, there's one other duelist that I forgot about. Um, I actually won't spoil it because it's actually really funny. Uh, so right now it just kind of looks like we're going to be hitting with the Dark Magician Girl, hitting with Gazelle until we win. Um, because some of these, like I said, yeah, like that's a really weak monster. Some of these can be very boring. He actually had a really good draw last time. Um, and even then we still beat him. All right, excuse me. Pot of Greed, ugh, oh, love this card. Um, yes, we'll do that. Ah, I'll take his Neo the Magic Swordsman, how about that? And I'll let him destroy himself. Beedle-dee-doo. 
I was going to try to attack with Gazelle to make sure I could win, but now I can definitely win. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> there we go, baby. All right. Thank you. Paul Messel's wife blessed me. Thank you. So now we are nine and four. Perfect. All right. What what pack should I get? Um, I love the Black Luster Soldier. Freaking love the Black Luster Soldier. But I think I want to go with one of these over here. Maybe the Mystical Elf or the Dark Magician is kind of my thought. I don't know if you have any thoughts or, or not. I think I'm feeling the Mystical Elf. Let's give her a try. Hey, I got... Yes, thank you. We were thinking the same thing. I got another Mystical Elf, which is good. It's a good card. Um, if we ever want to get defensive. Like this, this right here, is an example of a really bad card. <laughs> because you have to fuse two monsters, you have to use Palmerization, and you get... 1300 attack. That is like the definition of not worth it. <laughs> um, and in. Oh, we got another D spell too. That's actually really good. Um, I'm just going to do a passenger for now. Um, in the first set ever made, the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, um, they had a lot of those like horrendous fusion monsters. Um, Alright, I wanted to get to someone we haven't battled yet, or dueled yet, pardon me. Let's see who they are. Mmm. Yugi's music is more triumphant. Kaiba's is very calculated. Menacing a little bit. Yeah, Kaiba is a real uh a real frenemy. Um the whole gang is just like, Kaiba, just let us be friends with you, and he's like, no, I'm edgy. Um, and I like to be powerful. Yeah, Kaiba's kind of a, kind of a weenie head like that. Um, I mean, a little bit, a little bit menacing, a little bit kind of spooky, um, kind of like cold and calculated, more cold and calculated. Um, let's see. Ah, we have a beaver warrior and a rocket warrior, full of warriors. Um, let's see. <laughs> Maybe you didn't hear the right one. Uh, maybe. Alright, so that giant soldier of stone might not hold up against Kaiba. Let's see. Because he's got some ridiculous cards. Classic. Vorse Raider. That is another just really freaking good four star. That 1900 attack with no drawback. It's much like the uh, Gemini Elf. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to use Rocket Warrior. I don't know what his trap card is. Okay, cuz Rocket Warrior's effect. Any monster attacked by this card has its attack decreased by 500 points. So, my Rocket Warrior should be able to destroy this Vorse Raider as long as that trap card doesn't get us. Oh. Oh. I did that wrong. Did that wrong, guys. Now, it's been attacked by a Rocket Warrior, and its attack is decreased, but Rocket Warrior doesn't destroy it. The strategy would be to have another monster on the field. So I really boofed that one. <laughs> oh, man, he's going to destroy us now. Now he's got two Force Raiders, and that other one has all its attack back. Yeah, boof. You're so right. You're so right. Big time boof. Oh, man. Is this just going to be... <laughs> this is going to be a trouncing. Oh, let's just stop there for now, I guess. Okay, we're holding on. We're holding on for dear life. Um, oh, <laughs> it is a funny word. Um, yeah, I probably heard that from a funny viewer. Let's see. We're still just holding on for dear life over here, folks. Hoping we get a good draw. But now... Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's great. 
very interesting roundabout way. Call of the Haunted is like the trap card version of Master Reborn, basically. And what Torrential, Torrential Tribute does is when a card is um, played face up, you can play Torrential Tribute. And what that does, I'm going to try to play my Master Reborn now. And I'm just going to have one of these 1900s out on the field. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Um, but what that does, it destroys all the monsters on both sides of the field. And he has just enough attack to destroy me. Guys, we got smoked that time. Absolutely annihilated. Uh, and there's his blue eyes ultimate dragon right behind him. Wow, so we have lost to Yugi, Joey, and Kaiba. Not good. Um, I'm gonna just, with my tail between my legs, I'm just gonna do some passengers until we find someone easy. Uh, let's see. Ah, okay. We have a couple that we haven't fought yet. I know one of them is really easy. Oh, are we eight and four? No, we are nine and five. We are nine and five. I'm really hoping this is the person that I think it is. Um, that would be wonderful. No, okay, I mean, this is still fine. We should be able to beat Esperoba. Um, this is just kind of one of like the lower level duelists in the Battle City arc. Um, still not bad, but not super great. Kind of like Rex Raptor or like Weevil maybe. Um, okay, let's play that Pot of Greed. Um, but Esperoba is famous for, you know what, I'm going to summon you out. This is just going to be a, a strategic play. Um, Esperoba is actually the duelist in the anime that has Jinzo. Um, and that is how Joey gets his Jinzo. But as you can see, I made my pro play to get my... Dynamis Dark Witch out here and uh, coaxed a weaker monster out. Even though it might not have been worth it, I don't know. Might not have been a pro play. Might have been a might have been a noob play. Who knows, man? Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Ah yes. My favorite trick in the book. The old change of heart. And I'm gonna take his face down monster because I don't know what that is. Um, Big Eye is actually kind of interesting. It lets you look at your opponent's, uh, uh, not not their hand, their, uh, the next five cards at the top of their deck and you can reorder them, which is interesting. Do -do -do -do. All right. Very nice. Okay, we're sitting in a in a decent spot now. Let's complete our turn. Do, do, do. Um. So I was talking about how Esperoba has the Jinzo. What the Jinzo does is that I'm just gonna set you face down. I'm actually gonna play Yami. Oh no. Okay, good. Because <laughs> that'll power up. Oh, that weakens the Dark Witch. Oh no, but that increases the Dark Magician Girl. Ah, very interesting. I'll have to consider that. I might take Yami out of our deck. Um, but I was talking about the Jinzo. And, oh, okay, that's easy. And what Jinzo does is that it negates all trap cards on the field, which is just ridiculously strong. And for some of the other duelists in the game, it's like honestly necessary. Um, there we go, baby. Oh, that powered up our mystical elf, though. That's cool. Do, do. do we have this card? No, we don't. Beep. Beep, beep. Ah, I'm gonna get Dark Magician out! With our Yami here. I don't, I don't get to bring him out too often. Ha! I might get rid of our, one of our Dark Magicians at some point. I know that the reason they have two in the deck is to be like a counterpart to Dark Magician Girl. 
Easy. Easy fight. Down goes Espa. I am also really excited to show you the card artwork for Jinzo because I think it's so sick. Okay, I was going to do the Dark Magician last time, and I got him out in the duel this time, so let's do it. Ah, uh, nothing really good. You can equip this to a warrior-type monster. That's not, not super great. Not really what we want to see. Um, let's see here. Is there anyone left? Okay. I think this will probably be our last duelist, and I think I know who it is. If I'm not mistaken. Oh no, it's Bakura. Ooh, Bakura is also pretty spooky. Um, he is one of Yugi's friends that's like also possessed by one of like the ancient millennium items. Um, it's very spooky. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to beat him right now. We'll see if we got a good draw maybe. Uh, all right, let's go with you for now. I like that. He's got some menacing music. At least, uh, no, we don't want to waste out on that. At least mysterious. <laughs> yes, you'll give me this one. I appreciate that. Um, yes, we will return you and you. Boom. Okay. I'm hoping we can attack his life points directly this time around. Um, I will go with Giant Rat, though. Giant Rat is really nice to help us get our Giant Soldiers of Stone out if we are in, like, a bind. Sometimes they can really wall the opponent. All right, so that was great. Love to see that. Bop, 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 bop. Um, this is fine. Because I think, I don't remember, yes. When that card does damage to your life points, you get to draw two cards, which is actually pretty solid. That, well, I was happy, I was happy to draw two cards there. Um, so I guess that's kind of like the drawback of that card's 1800 attack. I always forget. Okay, this one, Imperial Order, is the magic cards. And I think Royal Decree is the trap cards. Excuse me. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I think I have a strategy. Let's see. And I'm just going to play you in defense mode. Ah, Destiny Board. That's actually really interesting. Um, no. Because what he tries to do with Destiny Board, yes, is if he can spell out this message on his on his side of the field, he... I'm going to use Spellbinding Circle here. On the Beast Ridger. There we go. If he can spell that out on his side of the field... Um, he automatically wins the duel, which is real interesting. Um, I think I am going to use Giant True Maid to make sure I protect my... Yes, that's fine. Okay. So that sends all the Magic and Trap cards back to our hands. Um, and I can summon my Giant Soldier... And I was going to destroy the Bistro Butcher, but I can do a lot more life points there. Love to see that. And now we're going to set some of these back on our main phase two. That is something else I haven't really talked about, is main phase two. Um, you can play more magic and trap cards in that second phase after you attack. Which is interesting. Ooh, Acts of Despair. This is tough. Um, I am actually going to use Imperial Order here. Because um, that will block his Acts of Despair. There we go. Let's see. No. 
Ah, okay, black pendant, that's... Oh, I know, that's fine. Because that doesn't do anything now that I have Royal Decree up. Okay. So now he's back to defense mode. Um, but one thing I do, yes. Um, I do not wish to pay the amount, actually. Because now I think his defense is still going to be... Yeah, his defense is still weak. Um, very interesting play by me, I will say. Let's get... Let's get Gazelle out here. Sorry, I'm really talking out loud. This is a... There are a lot of plays here. Because now... I made him switch into defense mode, and he had the 3300 attack, but that's fine. Okay. No, that's fine. Yeah, Black Pendant can do 500 points of damage to me, blah, blah, blah. Don't be a bad effect monster. Just don't. Just don't. Okay, great. <laughs> All right, folks. We are doing pretty well right now. I really hope to not see anything devastating. That's fine. And we can use our Spellbinding Circle again, because I Giant True naded it back to my hand. Mm. Okay, sitting pretty. We might be able to win this turn. We can definitely win this turn. Come on, folks. This is great. Get that Bistro Butcher going. And I am just going to play my seven color fish, and we are just going to freaking blitz this guy. That does it there. Gazelle. Ah, oh, gonna have just enough. And that's fine that he draws two cards because the duel ends here. Amazing. Perfecto. Love it. Okay, great. All right, what can we get now? I'm thinking I want to do the Gate Guardian pieces for our pack this time. I don't think we've I don't think we've done that yet. So let's do that. Ooh, change of heart. Um, love change of heart. Uh, Pale Beast isn't bad. Let's see. Yeah, those are like okay. I'm pretty sure I can add another change of heart to my deck. Because I think, like, in real life, you, they only let you have one copy because it's so strong. I don't know if that's the case in this game. Um, see, this is a five-star monster for only 1,800, so that's not very good. Um, so let's see if they'll let me add that second change of heart. I don't know. I know I said that you can have three of any card, but that might be partially untrue. Yes, you can only have one change of heart. Okay. I think I think you can only have one of each magic or trap card. Yep, that's it. You can have three of monsters, which is interesting. Um, but, let's see. I feel like there was something I wanted. To, uh, actually, Imperial Order came in great handy in that duel, so I think I'll leave it in for now. Um, but, folks, with that... I'll probably call it there. This was super fun. Um, thanks for joining me. Um, I really enjoy this game. I know that it's not as popular as Emerald. I'm really still going to try to do it once a week. Um, but don't worry. More em more Emeralds on the way. Um, we'll probably end up streaming... Oh, yes. What was the final record? Oh, yes. That puts us at 10 and 5, I believe. Yes. Um, thank you for that. Um, wonderful. Um, but yeah, more Emerald will come this weekend, which I'm really excited about. Um, appreciate it. Thank you. Um, but I'm rambling. Have a good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. Peace.